right, if we're doing this, let me try that. If we're doing this, it means I'm stuck. Game players, they have taken, they have taken that extreme labs. They have, they've taken away that part of the experiment. I cannot use any of their devices. The recording, oh, an investigative WGF is happening here. Experimental Kurt Cobain-esque glasses have disappeared, right? We know why, because I was nice to some nomad tweakers. The wrong ones, that's all. They cannot put into the equation of the WTF experiment. Shh, don't talk about it. They're not all like that. You can't all do this. You cannot put them in a box like you've done me. This cockpit in this Ford Focus 2018, the only manual six shift, it did not need to have its clutch changed. You know it. Perry Ford, you you can explain that that you needed to add the muffler, try that first, along with the brakes to make it sound like this. No, you hear that? Oh, it started to work. Yeah, if I push it a little bit, yeah, then the, I guess the turbo is, I don't know, engaging. But you, you changed it on another motor, and then after having me pay for all these parts you then say ah all right now we've replaced the motor holy shit what are they doing here all right the cops are standing far away they always do it on this corner whoa there's two green there's one red oh shit there's is uh, a black lives matter they're standing around that cop is in one of those new Ford whatever's yeah it looks like this one focus it's undercover but the lights are all on now they gave me the look one of them one of them was in green so that's probably ATF the other one was in black or blue or green I don't know he could have been a ranger that's the way it is here Santa Barbara but I know there were four officials surrounding one Black Lives Matter on the corner where I live. That's right, Camino del Remedio, yeah. I guess that's why they're picking there. I guess that's the only spot where they give someone a six foot distance and they do a four corners. Yeah, surrounded on all sides. So they did a four corners, I have to leave there. You see, we are in the stop and shop where we hope to God that our favorite Syrian, Tony, the Syrian who asked me just lately, did you make up with the other Syrians at the Delavina shopping center? And I said, you've got to get it with everyone else who's notifying me. It says right there, it's a shopping plaza. I cannot be taking your Superior Plus propane. The guy cannot take that huge truck and use as a... They're going back and forth. He's not the only one. They can take the North 101 straight ahead freeway entrance and take it to Lompoc. It's not stopping here. I don't care what they say about that gas. I don't care if I, I should maybe use butane the next time. I'm not going to tell about the story about the, the camping stove that did not work. The propane bottle that blew up, right? Just like my mama told me and wanted to from this WTF experiment. Oh, there's some kids. All right. Once again, we will do a plug for blah, blah, blah which was, which was, it is, an album by Iggy Pop and David Bowie. They only use one setting on a drum machine, but it is the drum machine. 
look it up. It's that drum machine. They use preset Ino tone, probably the first one. And the whole album is awesome. There's even some Hindu elements. How can they do it? I don't know. Computer stuff. Yeah, that's what they were doing back at that time. That seemed big. But in one of the songs, it's all about those shades, these sunglasses that he gets. That's what I'm talking about. I got these sunglasses. I think it's from singing that song in a different live stream. And someone who was helping the WTF of the Lyra. And the Nefarious, the Lyra, perhaps. I'm not sure. Or maybe just Great Scott. Sorry. Yeah, that lady gave me... Maybe her kid's name is Scott. Yeah. Oh, now she's... She needed to show me that she's going to... She's, she's showing me her body, just like that other girl did. But she's drinking all this water. Like, she could get in. Yes, lady, you, you can get in your suburban assault vehicle first before I tell you that, whoa, your tags are out worse than mine. Oh, hello, why are you driving away? Yeah, you... you, you, you you thought we all needed in front of the flag, in front of the Syrians. And I see Tony. He's got pictures of himself. He's looking good. Yeah, we can see that the Santa Barbara Care Center, with their fine dispensary products, they have been legal medically, yeah, way before your time here. And in Goleta, let me tell you, we don't run by the same laws as where Santa Barbara County, land of the newlyweds and nearly deads. And we're, which takes me back to the high time stop and shop and my own Chase Bank and Montecito Bank and Trust. Coming back to that one. Did not want to cash my Trump check when that came back, my deserve a tax relief. Yeah. They didn't want to, my two banks, that I've been with them for 20 years. Why? Because there was something wrong. They didn't believe that they were real checks. They thought I forged it. Yeah. All right. I came here, right? Stop and shop. And they did it right away. I think they charged me a buck. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from them right away. Oh, Fresno. I did not buy a lot of stuff when I was in... Working as a freelance, jealous with the Fresno, yeah, county, what, Philharmonic. And this Fresno, on every corner, you find a liquor store and a gun shop. A liquor store and a gun shop, a liquor store and a gun shop. And now, cash checking. A liquor store, guns, liquor store, guns. Check cashing. Now, I know you're going to be like, California, the Second Amendment. Well, I've been learning since my trip to a ghost town in Bodie, where I, of course, voted twice to make sure that the proceedings went as planned, right? You should all be happy. And then that I could vote for the Green Party, which is other, and we will take over the next time. Because Johnny Depp will be the face of France, Canada now, we're finding out. And people are going to join this bandwagon, be it, albeit, what's the opposite? I asked, I asked Marilyn Manson, what's the opposite of what you're going to be doing during this campaign? And he said, I will be letting Vanessa Paradis, the beauty, and their family do most of the talking. And Keith Richards, of course, who will be vice president, right there next to Depp. And the French, who are going to allow them to do what? Ever they want. They only asked one thing. They asked them to just stay in their pirate. Yeah, they're pirate characters, but, you know, also, Johnny, bring back Come, right? Remember your band. Bring it back. I'll join if you need. If you're missing anybody, you know that. Please call me. Misha, M-I-S-H-A, Bodnar, B-O-D-N-A-R. Yes, it's a real person. Cellist in Santa Barbara, known as the only First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara since 1976. Doesn't mean I wasn't here in 1969, and that makes 
that makes the Iggy Pop smile every time I bring up the Shell Station, who bombarded Santa Barbara in 1969, and they will repeat it, right? Just this last decade. But let's go back to 1969, okay? Right across the USA. Oh, this sounds like now. Another year for me and you. Another year for nothing to do. With nothing to do. Yeah, that's what he's telling you. The the where, the why, the what. It's gonzo journalism and I'm bringing it back. For whom, for who, for the they and the thems. But you know... You know what I'm talking about. That guy got shot out of a cannon. I don't know. I think Johnny Depp is telling the truth when he said he was the one who did the firing and the hiring of that cannon and its proceeds. Yeah, whatever they did with that, that was all under the table. Yeah, ask Keith Richards. He was the treasurer. You know what I'm talking about. They shot this other protagonist out of a cannon. That's right. Gonzo journalism once again just shooting the shit right in the air and spreading our knowledge and disturbing this graceful I don't want to use hatred. Kurt Cobain has kept it for himself. But I hate myself and I want to die Walmart. Why? Why did you milk me all these years? Yeah, and I fell down some stairs. Why? You said I was drunk. No, because I was dragging your milk products that turned out to be what? Why? Because of some shell station, some trucker just all your petrol got onto all the seals at East Beach, which had the whitest beach. Yeah, that was in 1969. But growing up, I always had tar. We would show it to each other, along with our shark bites. You know it, Santa Barbara was, at one point, in the 80s, known for Ugly Kid Joe, but also Snot. No, that was in the 90s. I'm sorry, I'm lying, I'm dreaming. I'm thinking about... Glenn Phillips that I just saw in that glossy Montecito magazine that said Kurt Cobain is back it turns out and it is Glenn Phillips we could tell by the photo yeah Kurt Cobain is hiding out here no of course not that photo was a what it was an imposter an impersonator well if this person checked the memes you can google it if you look up Kurt Cobain impersonator it says shoot yourself yes Shoot yourself. Uh, Was that a threat? Glenn Phillips, contact your drummer, Randy Gus, and ask him, was he there with me tasting the Egg McMuffin from Herb along with Christy McNichols? Dude, get your head out of... Were you even there? Hello. We're talking about the, the shack. Did you forget that you used to play the shack? Did you forget that nobody knows? Hello, we used to open for you. Yeah, nobody knew. Turns on nobody cares. I said nobody. But Chris, Christopher Lloyd studied cello with a cellist in town who happened to taste the Egg McMuffin along with Randy Gus who happened to maybe, perhaps, at one point, know how to read. How did he learn how to read? He, did, he knew how to read. Are you TMZing me like you did with Christopher Lloyd? Nobody, somebody said, cared that he took lessons, perhaps, this cello, oh yeah, and that the protagonist had to get his Syrian mafia, right? Not to get the money back. No, the Syrian mafia went to this house of rental next to the 101 in the Montecchio that is right next to Summerland. World's famous beach, but I'll tell you what's right before it or in between is this Tinkers that's been there since the protagonist used to go to Fadaro Lane and dance with the seals when they weren't covered in oil one more time from a 1969 episode. We had just gotten over it. I thought the tar was over. But they did the same thing, this Shell Corporation. They went and said, Randy Gus, can you tell them to shut up about the 1-800 number and that you were in toad and the wet 
Sprocket and how you guys detested the Sony International dealings with my band later on, Bella Lugosi, which had to become Bella Lugosi Jr., but because Bella Lugosi Jr. was the son of this Bella Lugosi, right? Like that dude owns all the Jacob Latters in the world, the world, I'm telling you. And that's when I said I heard from one of my subscribers, Randy Gus, you can subscribe. Glenn Phillips, you can subscribe. I don't care that you're imitating Kurt K-U-R-D-T. That's how it's spelled. Troll, not you, Glenn Phillips of Toad and the Wet Sprocket, and you just did not show up, just like Randy Gus, did not show up at a lesson once. Are you remembering my mama, Randy Gus? What did she do wrong? She taught you the piano. She taught you everything. She was afraid of you. You know that, Randy. She knew you were going to be a punk. She did not know that you were going to become that kind of punk, like me, coming back after touring and going, what the hell? I'm never, ever gonna do that again and screaming and throwing molotov cocktails and just doing what we should have been we are just going through ptsd just like a vietnam vet saying damn i want to just take some acid go around this town light some fires right yeah randy gus but yeah you were like whoa what the hell you're doing this at soho that little that's like a family-owned restaurant and i go i know but i give them you know I keep changing the name of my bands. And I, uh, you know, I send them that family-friendly CD that everyone's loving, right? Yeah. I don't know who wrote it. Who cares? It's embarrassing. I just say it. it's Bella Lugosi. And then we do our nude, rude shock. That's right. That's one up for Duncan Wright and Joe Woodard. Yeah, he's still there, but he's calling himself Joseph. For the independent.com, the only news in town that beat, I don't know, the news press, no, news, no, that's owned by either LA Times or the New York Times, yeah. Thank you for four pages now a day. Yeah, that's all they do, they said, COVID. That's right, they're being quiet. But the independent is not, they brought in the Dalai Lama. I pointed out that on the cover of their beautiful independent not the independent.com the independent.com millennials of the independent journalistic attempt of a newspaper that's what they called themselves when they took down the news in review all right joe woodard now is back in the hall joe woodard saying that's not really like let it tell it like it is don't turn it into some waco don't make it like all of a sudden it's, you're gonna put nicks and say nixon didn't say that yeah no those i have Pictures. Pictures, I'm telling you, since 1999 with your product, your new product. That How do you know there weren't pictures in the news press and review that might have the protagonist in it? That's how my lawyers are saying to say it. I'm doing this for, I'm exercising Nicolo. Nicola, Nicola, you know who you are. Nicola Zaroff, the last living true punk godfather of punk violin i learned everything from you you know it from the dick piercing to the leather chaps leaving the butt hangout it is agreeable on stage it does it's a delight roddy uh, from faith no more you know the keyboard player he enjoyed it until yeah kurt cobain said uh, he tried it once, and the boys in the band, they got it too excited, yeah. They didn't look at him ever the same way for a long time, and he learned, I will not do that anymore. And uh, they were nice looks. They were more about, they were thinking of changing teams. If you understand that Seinfeld reference, then you're going to understand why I'm so mad at my mom for not just getting the nephews to explain to her the opposite show. She did the opposite. She said she tried. She's like, yeah, look. I'm not doing what you're asking me. I'm not changing. I'm doing the opposite. So that means there are people out there who think they're doing something, a kind word to you, a kind favor for 
doing the opposite. All right. I want to tell you that the United States Treasurer today did the opposite. They did not send me a $14 check super early of the years past. No, you know I've been waiting for this check. That's right, it came. I screamed, I yelled. Everyone told me, you cannot yell at God. Like that. You cannot pretend to be this, the Lord. Now just stuck, speaking for the homeless, speaking for the mentally ill, suddenly screaming about, hey, I worked. I born in the USA. Just because you don't like my name being Misha. Well, now this one is Cryden. That's right. I have in front of me the true name. And I'm going to tell it to you for the trolls. Dox me, dude. I already gave you my VIN number and my address. I've shown you the locks are broken. I've shown you also for my mail. You did not come and get it. Trolls. Guess what? It came. We all know from Fresno. Finally. It is. (laughs) Drum roll. It is. I don't know. It says on the clock, 0429, 2018. That's for you, Ford. Yeah, change it. Uh, Make it apparent you you take, I don't know, care in your work. I know I'm being pompous. I'm showing the delusions of grandeur. I did not record this morning's rant from the bedroom through the cat foods and all those aisles in my condo of doom and we decided you know what we're not gonna do just three things from this dumas no it's not the dante's inferno that everyone speaks of so fondly we were only gonna do three the trinity the true story of star wars no i guess we're gonna do something else three of the back to the future no bach to the past man Am I passed out to hear that Schwarzenegger and my... I don't know what you call this in the WTF experiment is happening here. Shh, don't talk about it. But it's Marilyn Manson who's being a bitch, throwing up on Venice Beach. Yeah, Santa Monica, right on the boots of these biker cops. Yeah, not the CHP. Ooh, I would be quiet and be surprised that they're filming them. No, they're at like they're at Venus Kush right he's told me Schwarzenegger that 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 is crap he said that he refuses no I never said to you F you drop dead that was the subscriber above me Misha I tell him dude I'm doing this through Martin Scorsese's borrowed well he just threw it back there half hazardly See, I can say it. It means for my doctors, ding! I am too using the money correctly. I have gone back to my speech therapist and I, I, I have apologized for saying I wish you would just keep using your gloves, ma'am, when you're, if you know what I mean, when you're sticking your fingers to make me not do my R's as they were. Ow. Oh. Yeah. You ever gotten your tongue stapled? Yeah. To keep you from talking? Well, no, they probably. No, to keep me from eating? Yeah, that works. That's how they fooled me. That's why I, they allowed me to do this operation. Yeah. You never heard of it. The tongue staple. I'm going to tell you about the tongue staple. I'm going to tell you about a delicacy. My babushka. More babushka. We're going to go back to my under the bridge downtown. No, up at, in the hills of Monteketo, where the Stephen Park uh, reference to a bridge where many a mentally unstable. Unstable. I'm getting back into my French because I'm leaving, you know, with Johnny Depp and company. We're, we're leaving town. Oh, you're not coming around, bro. No, you worry about governmental issues. Anyways, I have to find out through the bookstore where they did not remember who the hell Dan Fonte was. No, they forgot who John Fonte was. But I'd already been in there saying, wow, it's a miracle. I just picked up this book by Dan Fonte and... 
he's saying to me right away in the book, buy my book. And then it says, I walked into the exact bookstore that you are in now, Misha, my latest sponsoree, right? From the AA, well, maybe, but probably writing, I don't know, mostly it's about drinking and writing and the family. It's all about the family, breaking bad. We got to do it. And you know, people, if you've been listening, I have been doing that. Oh, yeah, it caused some issues. The subscriptions went way down, way down. People were downing it. Thumbs downing it, unsubscribing, vicious comments like, F you. Yeah, get on your meds. Get on your meds, dude. Get inside one of our little cabins here. What? Next to those neighbors who are coming around. Get out, homeless. We're allowing you to leave with your items that you've put in those lockers. Get up, get out, take your laboratories with you. Do you think we didn't smell all that? We don't care, it's governmental. Take your... Take everything. They will. They will take that air conditioning, half air conditioning heater unit. It'll be cool somewhere. You know it. They can sell it on the street. But they want to be on that beach. It's the only thing that's left. And Shell, if you keep throwing up onto our beaches and then making it so that we have to, like, call somebody, some minion of yours and tell them, can you just do this? Give me the 800 number. Did you know that the Shell travel care 24 hours emergency headquarters to be able to be like we're doing something about it can you give us some time we're a huge corporation we are in new york what the hell do we care about santa barbara home of the newlyweds and the nearly deads hold on is that that place you got the only first amendment auditor oh you want to look it up yeah finally look it up yeah in the world Dudes, hello. You want to know who else can say that? In Santa Barbara. In Santa Barbara. Why would he say the world? Because of some sort of speech impediment? He's trying to get rid of, like Michael Jackson trying to buy his papa's love for the abuse the papa gave him about his nose and the rest of the family. Digging in. Allowing him, this kid, only nine years old, a prodigy, perhaps like this protagonist, Cello, saying, no, please don't make me listen to this while I'm under the bed, pretending to just say, can I write in my Harriet the Spy diary just what I thought was going on? Yeah, that's right. That's when, yeah, what's going on? Oh, talk about some journals the people don't want me conspiracy theory to be reading from those Kurt Cobain's Courtney Love and private eye detective P.I. Thomas Gran what can we say right now Thomas Granzosio thank you Matt Patton or Mike Patton depending on who gets more money in this copywriting war and this family feud. No, I'm having a feud with Sony. Once again, over my version of Iggy Pop's version of It's a Family Affair. That's right, Sony. Give me the tapes. Give me the fecal matter. Nirvana, Kurt Cobain's last and first utterance that were in your safe. Your safe house where? Somewhere out on Disneyland Island. What on? In Anaheim, you thought you could get away COVID style because nobody's there because you couldn't trust anybody. You couldn't see the meth teeth behind the, those blue eyes, those pale blue eyes that that guy, Limp Biscuit. oh my God. God, if you're going to steal and ruin a song like Louis C.K. ruined, oh, the who, and a drummer by pretending to be a father. Well, he did that very well. Like, Like the one who's got his head up his ass while he's doing grandpa rock. Yeah, lip drumming. Yeah, and, and not noticing the poor kids they 
were child actors. They were underage. Like some of the kids I had to drive home late to their houses when I was going through the streets of L.A., that point doom, that kill city, I will repeat it. Point du Bay is the weirdest Dan Fonte book. It was kept till his death. I do not think he wanted to publish it, except, yeah, after the viral video from the Lord, that Point du Bay is going to make his child. Yes, we know the child is safe. The child has, of course, Benedictus, Dominus, Dominictus, Gratitus. That's right, gratitude. To the old man, he's not going to be messed up like the old man was. To the other old man, which the other old man, to the brothers all down the block, were bipolar and were filled with madness and upset at the world and screaming at everyone and nobody was listening until it's too late and now they're in safes in that book. It talks about its sanity. It is not like the other books I would tell you if you are a beginner in like the Hobbit series. Don't go directly to the third of the trilogy of the ring if you get what I mean because it'll turn out like Ringo Rango that Japanese or Korean Chinese horror movie yikes where she comes right out of the TV set that's right there used to be TV sets we used to put in VCRs millennials find my photos find the one of Venus bitch where we look we have all this glitter. You went, oh, can you give us something else that looks like an 80s band? Yes, it was an 80s band. And then we opened for the other picture I gave you. It is a black and white picture. I was able to take it. It is Iggy Pop in the attire for this blah, 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 where he's talking about the best sunglasses that was given to him by the best person. And it all of a sudden, with those on, even though they were cheap sunglasses bought at Venice Beach from some dude now who is cleaning everything off of a COVID style with a vacuum cleaner that's made from some governmental quality. And he's doing it, telling me, don't be filming me doing this. And so I turn my back to him and film him, right, with the flip mode that was given to me, thank God, by Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes, thank you. From the hip hop community, you know it. And from Yao and the Beastie Boys and the 13th Dalai Lama, not the one that I hear, the 14th, had to point out to him, yeah, that is your junk. He said, please, Misha, don't say junk. Say my private parts. And I don't like this. This public enemy, this public nudity? Oh, that's a different story. That's going to be Dudley. Yeah, there's a district attorney, but there's also a band. And then there's this writer that I keep going, Joe, help me. The First Amendment. He's going, yeah, freedom of press. I wonder who he's doing it for. It must be alternative. Oh, yeah. But it can't be free because how did he get that camera? And I'm once again, dude, it's the Green Party. I'm holding a green check. Yeah, some Native American Indians helped me. It turns out Martin Scorsese is part of it. And he, he handed me this thing. It's a beat-up iPhone 8. And he said, always use it in black and white mode. Like the first movie I did where my parents weren't being decisive about letting me do my college film. With them, I spent all this money. I had to get a black and white film. They didn't know all the troubles I went through. And suddenly my mom is not talking when I'm like, oh, my God, yesterday you were just talking and talking. I said that finally you'll help me, you guys. Yeah, so dad's not talking. He's smart. He's too drunk to talk. It would give it away. Right. So he's staying silent. I learned that trick. That's the only way you stay out of trouble. But mama, suddenly, she's like banging on the door. Can you, what are you doing? I'm telling her I'm shaving. I'm cutting myself. I'm using this Cairo syrup. I don't know. They put it everywhere. It could be fructose syrup. I'm adding some sort of dye. Dye, mama? No. What would stop her from dying? If this goes viral, just because it's just all bleeding. Oh, it'll make... Spielberg's L.A., USC, or 
otherwise, whatever it was. Where did Jim Morrison go to school? Oh, okay. UCLA, dropout type of, uh, get out of here, you fired. I fired myself. I quit so long ago. Could you not tell by the work? Could you not tell? Dude, I got this, I got stars working for me. Yeah, I got this call here. I got all the stunts. We got a bunch of trucks just in case we blow up the first one by accident. The second one does roll off the road. We turned it into the movie. All right, it'll end happy. We will never know who the person is, right? They're dead. We'll just wonder. He'll be throwing rocks at it. This character, this Donna. Dennis Weaver was known as the not so interested. Uh, I don't know what you call them. They were all officers of the law. There was Columbo. He reigned this quartet of 70s shows that we did love. There was Macmillan. Uh, I can't talk about it. Yeah, sure I can. Macmillan and wife were. Where the protagonist, the male, was not quite out of the closet yet. Oh, hold on. He was. It's. Rock Hudson, yeah, Rock Hudson. That's why that show was doing well. So they stayed on in this quartet of shows. Rock Hudson with this, yeah, she was famous too for something. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, she did either that, that's that girl, it would always do that, or she's the flying nun. All right, I'm just guessing. I'm pulling it out of my butt, but I'm seeing it in my eyes. I'm smelling it. Why? Drakkar Noir. Yes. The WTF experiment isn't about the auditorial. They food, food, they, they food, they fooled you with the dyes that they're putting in your food. Oh my God, now I'm talking about American Enterdeet. That's all about the vegans are going to be like leaving this country soon. I've been talking about it. And suddenly I got that check. I was yelling at God. All right, we did the loop. Everyone who's betting from UCSB, you can't study bombed. Hear that plan? Yeah, it's a little pilot plane, so you know I'm pretty far from the Santa Barbara airport, so do not go there if you're playing the scavenger hut. You might be sh- Hunt. Mike Hunt. Oh, I Mac Hunt, I'm sorry I pronounced it wrong, is my editor. Sorry I haven't hashtagged you and baked salmon journalist. Uh, from San Diego and beyond, right? India and Mexico del Sur. That's right, where we will be spending this United States Treasury check. What? Yeah, we fooled you. You thought we were going to go into slabs. You thought we were going to go into Vegas. You thought we were going to do that Area 51 Mojave Drive. Quick, escape. No. A la Stephen King. Yeah, we're still going to do that, but we're doing what? Thinner. Yeah, that's a Bachman book. That's why we can get away with everything. But we will be doing a sequel or released reading from the book from Stephen King's point of view. What the sequel to The Shining will be. And the sequel, of course, is, you know, beyond alcohol, I'm believing we're going into heroin or whatever the WTF experiment is ingesting us with and right now they've made me roommate with this Marilyn Manson who went and hung out with this bodybuilder and I told you the steroids that's what made the whole thing start it wasn't the absinthe I told you that at the meetings we all told you you were full of shit we told you Marilyn what why did you tell me you told me shut up speak up Don't do the pretentious shit with us. This isn't the place to lie. That what else am I not remembering? You want to tell me I got no memory. They said, oh, don't you pretentious shit. I said, prove it, you fucking meth head. Look at your teeth. I still got my teeth. And he said, yeah, with all the sugar, with all the sugar in the absinthe, Not for long, Marilyn Manson's manager is back. That's right, you've seen we've done a lot of exorcisms these last three days. Without the dream catcher, ding dong, maybe that was the problem. That's right, so you all know the story now. I am around my neck, 
There's a bunch of monkeys. I tie them around my neck. They fall off my back. They choke me like some late night asphyxiation project. And that brings me back to my God, which is up above. And I have to be doing this because he wants me to revenge him. Allah, Duma, Monte Cristo sandwich that was brought up by Warren Zevon, who of course made first contact about the WTF experiment when he was 13 years old at the house where in Los Angeles, Point Doom, I told you we'd bring it back. But Hollywood and Stravinsky, yeah, Firebird. That's right, and he wanted to know, Stravinsky, how can I like score this Firebird so that Hollywood and the rest of the world who listens to this music, considering that that's the best, like Frank Zappa, yeah. We'll get to that. He had some other names that nobody will recognize and nobody cares. Oh, you will. Whoever wrote that troll? Google. Nobody. Christopher Lloyd. And go, what? All right. We're back. That was our commercial for, of course, nobody. Starring, I don't know, how do you explain what? that is uh are, are you are your ears pierced all right are they perked whatever you find on google it won't be the same as here all right we're talking about the duck duck go oh that's easy duck duck not goose like the wonderful goose liver that the lord cried in sneaking in past the border in new york it's easy how do we do it covid style they don't notice what. They can't do what? Profile. They can't profile you. How come? We call it COVID. COVID style. Oh, COVID. Well, what would that do? Well, I got a mask covering the beard. Covering the beard. Covering the eyes. Hello. Who are you? Well, whatever you try to do, security guard, I'm going to tell you from a woman. What? No, I'm in trans. No, I'm transducing. And oh, maybe this is the way it should have been a long time ago. But I'm telling you, look up. Look up. You will scan me later. You can take some of those pictures home. I know they make Polaroids. They do that with police body cam footage. Oh, of county mentally ill patients. Uh Uh-oh. Coming drown from drugs. WTF experiment. Shh, don't talk about it. All right, we're back. We're going to end this. We are doing memento, right? I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened in this car last night. We got some, uh, yeah, we got some oriental tires. This, these are chopstick. So I believe the protagonists got their sodium on. And I believe, I think I know where they went. Ah, so they decided to go hardcore and good. That was smart. That is the way to play the game, the secret life of Thomas Grant P.I. Oh, oh my God, I just opened it. Oh, it smells divine. Smells the next day. I'm going to drink it cold. It's got all the fixings of yesterday, which was like, I think we just mentioned it. Was it tripe? There were tendons. There were gizzards of the veal brains. There were rare bit, rare meat. There was shredded pork, shredded chicken. Everything's in there. There were not egg noodles, so I had to say I would be lying that I did do that just to mess with the vegans. But yeah, there wasn't eggs. It's a different type type of um, it's a different type of noodles. But because we were doing that exorcism for the Anthony Bourdain roommate, of course, you heard him come in there. The voice was there. The mannerisms, well, you couldn't see. It was covert mode, but you could hear. He was doing his thing, and he was trying to get out of having to film with these other, I don't know, you call them roadies, but they're called key grips. We call them the circle jerk crew, right? So he's just trying to lose these circle jerks, saying, give me the camera. I know how to use it. I've hung out with Martin. You know what I mean? 
we're all doing it we all know that iPhone 8 is the WTF experimental phone shh don't talk about it it's our carte blanche to go and do whatever be the notary public be vehicle registration you want some fingerprinting you want some live scan yeah you want your passport photos I don't know you can do whatever you want at the stop and shop Syrian shop are you understanding me people that was the green party for those of you playing the game and you made it to here you know you needed to know that the whole wood chipper thing if that didn't come out that joke and you still didn't get the wood chipper please no it was the mama telling this protagonist to go to his chase bank they refused the person saying to them, Oh my God! Oh no, Mr. Bill! I'm gonna die! I fleed at your case and yeah, you don't care! They didn't. They were going COVID. They were hiding their faces. So the protagonist decided to go hide his now. They don't recognize him. That's the Count of Monte Cristo. That's why he gets to laugh. Ha 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 Over and over again. And the people are going, Oh my God, what did you do? Why are you laughing? Why did you ruin my life? How did you do it in this really odd way that I'm still going to be regretting? But you're, you're going to allow me to have the, the, the electric chair to pay for what happened. And you have all these people behind you going against all the rules. Oh, no. Like... Like these other folks that you thought were going to protect you did. Oh my God, I think I found the cash app card. No, I found my triple A card. I love you. All right, Allstate, you lost the game. And it says whom will be the name of the protagonist to the end, to the viral video. It will be... All right, what are the choices? What do we got so far? We got Misha, we got Mike, we got Michael, we got Mikey, we got Mark, we got Bodnar, we got Horton, we got Bodnar Horton, we got Cryden. Yeah, that was the last one. That's the serious one. But Bodnar, of course, Misha Bodnar is the WTF experimental family. That's right. La, 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 la. But this being a reality show, soap opera. Well, 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 well. It's all going to be way too real and real people are going to be calling. So what's in a name? That's all I'm saying, people. What's in a name? And then remember, freedom of the press. All right, we're going to end like on this press talk and we'll finish the rest when we're damn ready we're gonna call this one the first press talk to press release to the press all of yes listen up and then pass this along link it if they say they don't want the link shove it down their throats millennials find those photos Yes, millennials of the 1999 excursion. The last time that we searched for much toilet paper. No, and scavenged. No. COVID. 2021. All right. The number 1-800-400-4222. My club code is 620-004-2764-2836-0. Nine. My card expires February 12th, the 20th, year the 20th. We are going to reinstate and dump the Allstate. We were not in good hands. How did we get this AAA.com experiment experience that's going to track us everywhere now instead of losing us like the Allstate did, making us walk making us cry, making us go through the slaughterhouse five fire department that are going to be taken down by the operation of this pretty woman. And instead of going up and down the 395 highway where it was just tweakers and tweaker truck drivers looking for a BJ, looking for a BJ from just the protagonist in comfortable in some BJs, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a P, J, and 
J and they misunderstood. And so instead now, this time he's going to go up this famous Route 66 using the AAA that he got from where? Well, from some AA meeting next to that Tinker's. That's right. He found out from a Tinker's as he was scratching this Rob Lowe's car, his car that's on the cover of this blue swallow motel vacancy oh it's a beautiful car dude i'm really regretting now you know i was scratching in all locals only at the ring con and he went like blocked my view and like oh like an orb coming out of martin scorsese's camera on his iphone 8 from the experiment This Rob Lowe said, all right, son, you don't want to do that. Come to a meeting. Come, come, my lady, to another meeting and another meeting. And I started meeting as a Lyft driver that I became in a sort of a pyramid kind of scheme where we take care of the underage, even the Lyft said, no, no, no. But we also take care of these rich monocidiots by, uh, you know, just turning off the meter, we used to say in the old days. That's what Dan Fonte would say. But, but here we got to turn off a huge company in Illuminati. But, you know, Lyft is connected to Uber, is connected to any ride share, is connected to any delivery from any food service. Whoa, do you know what your Lyft driver had in his car when he was delivering your Big Mac? Your handful of sorrow. That's what the protagonist is going to say. Ugh. Do that. You just make up that he can't have that bottle. It cannot be passed to him. He must look the other way or he'll throw up. And he's paying for these meds from a WTF experiment to make sure he keeps throwing up so he doesn't get a smart idea and get in trouble and, like, think he can get away with it one more time and one more binge. It doesn't matter what product, the alcohol will start it. And the end is just, yeah, Las Vegas, woo! But, you know, the hangover where you're, you got no more fingers to lose. Like, wait a minute. If they cut off your tongue, they sold you a monkey, the monkey is now stolen too. They cut off the monkey's head in front of you. Now nobody wants to put any money in this Indian cash app account that you got like set up at the corner while you're playing the cello saying I used to uh, look at the Bellagio I used to work as a croupier at the Bellagio but there's like a it shows the Paris Conservatory and I was back there and they showed us this 1981 movie they said you know this is banned in America if you are um, if this is gonna hurt your feelings like like what's gonna happen soon after 9-11 that they will just behead you teacher if you start talking like this or even mentioning that they're going on trial right that happened lately or make a joke of it like you're gonna do teacher because you're getting bored the kids don't want to learn you got to start pointing out yeah isn't life a bitch but isn't it funny we don't do anything about it and we can't change it and if i actually said this outside of these four walls that we're calling this private school yeah you can't touch us public yeah and that brings me to the music and arts conservatory of santa barbara it is a school but there's also one up toward bodhi off the 395 it's the mono they want me to say mono all right it's the mono um arts no mono how did they make yeah mono arts council of the Eastern Sierras, and that makes Mac, too. And so I, Mac Hunt, we're sorry. Yeah, we're taking your thing. And um, anything to do with Mac. Yeah, you got me, iPhone. Yeah, look back. It's job speaking from... We exercised him like we exercised our favorite. Tweaker, no. Commentary about the food quality in America. Oh, there's our highway patrol. Ooh, in one of those vehicles. And he's he's got all the lights on, so we know he's heading toward that McDonald's that we passed back there. Remember when I said they're all lined up? They got an important meeting. Yeah. And you know why that one looks so scary? And I was like, whoa, that one I would not be a First Amendment auditor. I would just be a citizen. Yeah, I'd have more of a chance. Yikes. 
Um, yeah, butt town. He's telling that citizen, get out of the way. I got to get to that McDonald's. Yeah, they got a meeting. That is the CHP from Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara CHP. You want to call them Galita CHP. That's where they are. And they are really close. They would have been... They, they should have arrived closer... Um, to those shootings, the two shootings, well, one was a car thing where the, the kid um, bailed down all these students, right? In, inside that little courtyard they call Isla Vista, which is a little town right there in Santa Barbara. We bring you to it all the time. It's where the airport is. It's, it's all that stuff. I'm just on the other side. We don't go inside because right now because of the COVID, all the cool places are closed, right? But this kid super rich kid the guy's uh, dad is a famous producer director hollywood um just ran down and he, all these kids in front of this famous thing i remember we were all shocked when we saw the video and then he jumps out and nobody can really do anything at, well, at first they don't think of tackling him they're just so surprised and he's yelling i'm this angel of death ah, and he's doing this crazy thing he was doing the crazy guy, ah, like the one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Christopher Lloyd. Here we go. Nobody? Come on. When the guy escapes, or was that Billy Jack? Whatever. When the guy escapes, there's like an Indian, I believe, somewhere. A Native American Indian. The Green Party. The ones who got me well again. The ones who are getting me my medicine. The ones who are making it. So when I get kicked out of these places, Shell, Jeremy, Turnpike... The last place where Lee McMillan was seen. Yeah, Google that, please, people. If you don't care about Christopher Lloyd, nobody? Hello. Um, yeah, Lee McMillan, YouTube vlogger, a somebody, a bipolar. Match anyone. I don't know. Ask Christopher Lloyd. Is he bipolar? Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he goes, nobody cares. No, Nobody Knows was a band I was in. Cocktails from Hell was another band I was in. Both of us opened for this toad in the wet sprocket. What's this? And Randy Gus, we're bringing it back so we can end this, knows that Kathy Ireland, yeah, was she liked horses. And he might know some other names if I threw them out, but yeah. What were those years? But you had this bracelet. It was the first of its kind. And I think it was a thing where it says you might have a stroke if you start to go into epileptic fit or something, like take a spoon and stick it down my throat so I don't choke. I think it was something like that. Or it might have been diabetes or it might have been insulin for bees. But you know what I mean? It was call this number. Don't even, you know, don't MacGyver it. Don't be the nurse. Right? And it's important. And, and you, you had it, like, stylish. It's on the side where you can see that emblem. It's like seeing a Swiss army knife. It's this thing where I, wow, I've seen that on television. That, wow, I wonder what he's got. I would, I would worry a little, just that. Like, I would probably want to ask him if I was ever alone. And I'm like, hey, if you suddenly pass out or something, I'd kind of want to know. Like, the, the person, I have a friend who's got a bracelet like that, but... When it, it's just like, oh no, you, you saw when, when I, a bee sting, like my throat starts to close up, no matter where it is. Like, no, he just bloated, it's scary as shit. But you gotta just call someone fast, and they came, the ambulance, they give you a thing. Maybe it's steroids. Ah, bringing it back to Maryland. Yeah, that's the bloating, the exercise thing, I like it. But you know what Hollywood wants? You'd have to get a tan. Right now you're just sick from the experimental products. You want me to show you good products. You're, you're not even going to taste it. I'm going to drink this concoction here. I know what it is. I know you don't want it. I just poured half of it on the floor through this thing that's got a little hole. Hello, anger management. Yeah, ain't got time to go in there. Ain't got time to make a call. I'm going to have to stop it here. Oh, those dude looks like Cypress Hill. I'm going to look, see if some Cypress Hill is on the radio. I'm going to forget about that young punk who said, oh, it's before my time. I don't need to hear it. It's irrelevant. Oh, my God. I'm going back to Syria. Yes, Tony the Syrian is going to cast this check. 
if I find it. You guys made me lose it. I got delusions of grandeur. You're not leaving here, tweakers. Oh, look, they give you little, those kind of Asian spoons. All right, like Popeye, I'm not gonna search what you did with all the condiments and the stuff that come with this is goodness. And that you didn't, oh, you left it for me. Oh, thank you. All right, Marilyn, I will do the operation. Mmm. Mother. Wow. You put so much of that Arisa stuff. Wow. It's excellent. No, 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 but you know when you inhale it. Mmm. But it's got those weird sprouts. Mmm. What other sprouts? Brussels sprouts. No, that's what I would do. Mm-mm. You don't. You only find these in the project. Mm hmm. Mm. No, that's WTF experimental goodness. It's those things I don't want to know. And they put it in this beautiful container, so we can't read. But do you see how I caught them? They on that. All right, we'll stop here because, yeah, it's, it'll take up the memory. I'm going to have to erase a whole bunch of other stuff that's important just so that we can upload this. And that's just because of them. The them and the days. No, I'm loving the them and the days now. It made it cool. Now I can actually say they did this. If it's not nice, you know that I'm talking about a corporation. I think that's what they're doing. They're making us hate these corporations. They're giving us this stuff. But now that we know that the corporations are kind of fraudulent, and it's always a governmental thing, that's all they make us afford, let us afford. Well, whatever's in the experiment, right? They'll pay for certain ones, so we really trust the private ones. The doctors flip on us like it's body snatchers, and they're pissed off that you're still awake after they've administered all this shit. Hello. They send you to the chain CVS that shows you, it's perfect for paranoia, that shows you that those machines don't work. They're blood pressure machines and that, yeah, there's probably a bunch of little old ladies who are gonna die. Yeah, Santa Barbara, home of the newlyweds, right? The upstairs neighbors who started the fight with me didn't know the name of my kid said they were better parents, said that they could tear up the floor, said that my own family, they weren't on the board of trustees of the HOA. Yeah, just flipping with my head. So I started to go, whoa, is it my family they're in on it? Is that the experiment? Because that made sense. My family would always go, no, 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 it's not what you think. And then they go, shh, don't talk about it. And they'd throw some money. And I'd look at them and go, wait, you keep telling me that I don't know how to spend this. Every time I make a mistake, you tell me exactly why it was a mistake. And now, since I'm really advanced in the game and I start to go, I know I made a mistake. I know you're going to throw me guilt. But I ask you, you know what I mean? I'm that far in. Don't say the guilt. And they're going... It wasn't guilt. You heard it that way. Why do you always hear it that way? I'm working hard for you for the money. Well, hard for the money. And I said, don't do that. That triggers me. I'm singing that song. So hard for it, honey. And then they giggle on the other side. And they go, no, it's not happening. And then I heard these dishes. And that's the Pavlov spell, right? It's the dishes or that dream catcher. And I caught him on the dream catcher because I got it in that 7-Eleven, right? It's in the casino. It says 7-Eleven gas. I said, I didn't know that happens. And then, yeah, there's a point market. But whoa, what are you selling in here? Just happens to be um, these dream catchers instead of the rideshare professor YouTube, right? His 999 course that they were making me feel guilty that we got it. But I said, I'm getting it to prove to the subscribers that it's a ripoff. Then vidIQ, 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 
started correcting me on every one of my videos saying that it was correct that the YouTube algorithm, this machine, is taking it down and I, all my videos. And I'm saying, no, you, you got it wrong, right? It's the machine. I started pointing out the machine's getting it wrong. They, they blame it on the COVID like the government does. Um, every place was doing that. That's just professional. That's professional to just the world, to be like, we're fuck-ups, we're finally getting back to pointing it out, we're going to fuck up some more, we're not going to change it, we're going to be like, come on, let bygones be bygones. Like, the lights are still on, the brights now, of this electrical problem, they're going to replace the harness first, like this guy replaced all the parts, the muffler, the exhaust. But the battery first, after me telling him, no, that, don't do that. No, that's how they're going to do it. Because they didn't want to plug it into this algorithm. And I just heard it from the neighbor that now I know. If that neighbor would have told me, the one we saw this morning or whatever that live stream was, where I was freaking. And they saw, they didn't freak me out more. They would have sent me to a bar. If the other neighbor had come out, they know it. Or someone from the team, the aid team, would either start speaking to me in French, right? Like the car started to do. Or do that, ah, like I found something out. Yeah, that's the little minions. They just do the body snatches. He's found out that maybe, like we shouldn't be sleeping next to these plastic plants that this Louis C.K. has been doing his DNA in, right? Mm, this is good. It's making me remember. Mm. I'm remembering the project. That's the memento part. Since I, since someone's refusing me to do the Dan Fonte Bick um, tattoos in Slap City with Jane Boomerang, dipping it in the shitter, yes, the main shitter, right outside of the Handlebar Cafe. I allow everyone to bring their DNA in there. I'm going to prove to you guys. What they've told you. Yeah, you want to say hepatitis C, you got it from that. Hepatitis B, A, Z, whatever you want. Whatever the AIDS thing they thought. Whatever they think getting an infection with. Whatever they said, train stopping, right? All that heroin. He stepped on something, right? His foot was cut. I've done it. And he stepped on his kitties, like just pooped there. That has happened. I've had a friend die from that, but I've also gotten it. I showed you on a live stream. Ooh, I just stepped in it. The only thing that one game player said, I think it was a troll gamer. They said, ooh, will you, if I give you some money, yeah, they lost the game right there. If you give me, if I give you some money, will you please clean up the house for the kitty? And I just showed that the kitty was fine. The kitty's been doing that all the time. It was me stepping in it, and it sent this anger management. We're suddenly like, I don't want to go to an anger management meeting. I don't want to talk to one of the aid assistants. I don't want my sponsor. That's why they made Dan Fonte my sponsor because it was my writing sponsor it was my yes families that have these kind of royalty bloodlines in the creative fields kind of thing it was the parent who is never the mama who's never satisfied and they decide to convert into a jewish mama but now because of the covid and they can't get their hanukkah They've decided, what about a Christmas so we can do vacation, right? Redo the vacation Christmas. He doesn't get his bonus. I tell her, Mama, I'm already doing that episode right now, but it's the Thanksgiving one. I turn Thanksgiving into my birthday, right? It's all this really thick stuff. All this to say that we will be doing. Up to number nine, we decided now of this Dante's Inferno. This yes, sisters and brothers, whoever, I am taking over your radio waves. This is pirated. You know the viral video happened. Stop your yapping. You can't stop the bomb rush. Lauren, right? What happened? We bum rushed you. We took you down on Wall Street. So please, have Louis C.K. call me with his lawyers. Have Larry David's 
video that whoever has it from the Seinfeld, the one that was censored, the 13 words that Larry David agrees should be on the Seinfeld show at any given moment, but the FCC is too stupid to accept that they're too stupid. This is the WTF pirated experience. We are in front of the newest edge. That's what they're called. The GUPS, their newest suburban assault vehicle, is called an edge by Ford. And they buy them all at Perry Ford. Yeah, on Hitchcock, right next to the YMCA. Are you seeing the picture? There's a jack in a box up the street. The first case of mad cow disease. Yes, look it up. People playing the game, the scavenger hunt has begun. Go into the first year of the Lord's channels. Start looking at that ghost highway. That where in that body where he's pissing on the sign that says you best get out of there, especially at six o'clock, I think it is. And there's these uh, cameras and nothing happens. Something happens. There's noises. He shows you the coordinates. He left it for you game players. Now, you have to get there. COVID times, yeah. How are you going to get to Highway 395 going from the Mojave Desert past the Palmdale, right? Get out of L.A., get out of that area right now. Take whatever from the Venice Kush. I suggest the purple. Yeah, that's the best thing they got there for now. But they got these little sample not free like the Santa Barbara Care Center here. They'll give you the free sample. Find out. They, you can spend, it's good for a day, those samples. That's how caring it is. Yeah, maybe you need it. They call it compassion sticks. They can do that for you people if they know you will come back and not rob them. Tweakers, you understanding? I saw you in there. The visiting ones from the slabs. The Slapsidians, not the Slabanians. You guys know. You guys are artistic cool. You are the community. The community cause. But not cause. It's cause for the cause. It's not Bill Cosby saying, Hey, I want to show you, intern, a little trick. A little trick I learned with a cigar. A little trick I learned from a president. Ah, this president, yeah, he... He wore these sunglasses. They were Ray-Bans. He even wore them on SNL. Yeah, you're taking that one down too. He played with the band? Yeah, maybe. On one of those things, I'm sure. I know, I saw it live. Yeah, now, everyone in the band of the SNL was like, oh my God, he doesn't know? Like, he doesn't know, like, certain Mustangs are classic, the others aren't. But not only that, if you want to come off as a musician, if that was the act he was doing, we would have been wearing the phonies. Yes, children always remember that. They're called phonies. They are fake replicas, like that replicas of what Kurt Cobain wore on his death floor up in that greenhouse where it was all humid and all the fingerprints right left everything and nobody recognized his real handwriting nobody recognized he was bipolar that he went back and forth from manic to by to like it was explaining what was happening he was going from manic to depressive like that song by another left-handed guitarist you guys don't know you didn't understand maybe maybe Jimi Hendrix was being you know being sarcastic manic depressive right and maybe that other guy from Filter I think it was Filter right nice shot he was talking about some I don't know, some governor, maybe, just coming in in a small town, and they're bitching in him, they're making him, like, he can't just say, put the bench back, do it, do it for that Misha Bodnar, the, the only First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara, right now, sitting right where he is, in 2020, 
one now. Oh, on YouTube, can you say that? Hello, let's do it for him. No, they didn't want to, right? They're just like, give us the gun. Like now they say, give us the camera. But back then, I don't know, there weren't any First Amendment auditors. It was just some lucky person. It wasn't a phone. They just, somebody like myself was like, you know, I like to do this. I know you guys think it weird, but there's some guy in New York during the disco time said, hello, we could do that. Bringing it back. I was there in 85. Maybe I, I bumped into that guy. I know that McDonald's though. Isn't it awesome? It's like being in a huge hangar. But all those lights, it's like going to Las Vegas. And we're trying to figure out how we're going to end this game. Is the protagonist going to go leaving Las Vegas, light the condo on fire, bring down the kid too with the parents? Yeah, that's what the writer in me wants. Then wind up, you know what's going to happen in Vegas. All the addictions are going to come around. He's going to try to film leaving Las Vegas. He will be escorted out of town by the appropriate officials, right? They will be private. Yeah, he will be banned from slabs. They'll just be like, sorry, bro, you got us in too much trouble. He'll go try to get to Reno, to that safe house in that ghost town of Bodie. They, of course, are going to block it like they blocked his Twin Peaks remake, even though he had the blessing of... David himself, are you seeing this? I can go on and on. But once again, this is for the press. Now that you know it's truthful, could you please track down those interns who made the mistake and to burn those two photos I've asked you, independent.com, it's that easy. Or dox them, dude. Dock them, dox them, wear some dockers. I don't know. Do something different. Please start doing the opposite show. Don't say I'm a terrorist. I am. We don't need to know that. We need to you to be like that ATF guy in the movie. In the movie about Waco, the ATF guy who made the mistake, who fooled the Reno, and thought that everything was nefarious and bad inside and everyone needed to die, suddenly saw that mama yeah, when you see your own mama. I use that with minions on the phone, even the 411, when they scream at me, hang up and dial 11 if it's an emergency, sir. I go, dude, do you talk to your mama like that? You know, do you, it's the trick. Do you kiss your mama with that vocal cards? I mean, do you deep throat your mama with that way? Uh, how is she going to get to the hospital if you yell there is no 800 number toll free old lady speak the right language just dial 911 and they can't tell you I can't dial 911 and they go we don't want to hear the story but of course you can you must be too lazy old woman and the old woman's dying just like I was dying on the other end and all state wouldn't just write down the longitude and longitude before I froze to death because these tweakers wanted me to get out of the car, give them a BJ, yeah. And they were truck drivers working for Allstate, yeah. Was it Love's towing? No, it was this hosier, the hosier who took the last rental. Yeah, dudes, you're going down, H-O-Z-I-E-R. Hosier, yeah, look it up. Google Santa Barbara. Dude, you guys have that car. You know what's in that car? Yeah, not the cello that's in, not this one. No, the one that's in your car that you're saying it's not your responsibility. Yeah, that is worth. That is worth much more than this one. This one's worth a cop's salary. That other one, it's priceless. Why is it priceless? Because it was taken from out of Eddie Van Halen Studio 5150 shortly after his death. Like the picture that is in the hands of some millennial from independent.com journalism. Dudes, I'm from the News Press and Review of Santa Barbara. 
just because you took us down. No, we merged. Then you erased us. Do you understand? Memento. Now, you know, like Bachman books, they tried to erase that from Stephen King. Stephen King needed to write a book to tell them what would happen. This, they get to a gravestone. It says the name cried in. There's a hole. Ah, oh, did some coyotes come and pull them up? I don't think so. This is one of those Jewish. What? Wait a minute. It's a Jewish cemetery. You're saying the one where he was pierced? Hold on. Do you think the Stark could be Fonte? What do you mean? It says Fark? That's weird. Fark. That sounds almost fake. No, it says Farkovitz. Fart of it. Fart of it. He wanted to be Jewish. He's next to that that wedding. That wedding. That waitress that he met, maybe, at a wedding. No, he wanted to marry her afterwards, but she passed away. He regretted writing a short story that later he tried to read it once to these kids at the Music and Arts Conservatory. And all of us disciples, we had all his few books, but we had them all, and we had them, and we knew he had he had he had been able to ramble to these kids who they were from ages thirteen to <coughs> eighteen, and he managed to find amongst all his words by by heart, uh, find enough poems and and little s snippets that would not harm them in any way, even though when I came up going, you know, these kids, some of them are not going to understand, but especially the parents, but maybe even the dean now, I'm thinking, you know, we got really scared there, what might happen, and he's like, I I'm not used to having my work censored, I'm not um, used to having people say, um, dial it back, yeah, I've been told that, R reel it back, rein it back, pull it back, yeah, he's not used to that, right, censor it, cover it, don't do that one. And I'm like, I know, but can you try? And he was nice enough to do it. But finally he got to this waitress poem where he really feels bad. It's, his, it's what he's best at. It's confessional. It's the person's telling you the truth. They got nothing to lose. They're at a meeting. It's the stuff that my family can't take, that kind of honesty. I get it. And, and they told me it's for their own survival. But they got to a part in the game where now, for my survival that they say they want to help me with, I need to know what their triggers are. These things that they don't want to hear so that I'll know I won't say it with other people who have bipolar like they do. And it'll help all these other people. They don't want to see it that way. They got into this public and private just like we did the public and private land issues with the Shell or any other place right now. Maybe even the Stop and Shop. But Tony wouldn't do that to me. So... We're going to end it there. It's going to end well. This press conference, I'll give you a bunch of them. They probably will all be this long. They'll all relate to the same thing. We'll always be eating this noodle product. Oh, my God. I know this MSG. Uh-huh. Did you know that MSG... We're going to end this educational channel, of course. MSG messes with ADD. Yeah. They discovered. It's not good. Maybe even ADHD, too. You know, same thing. Mm, it's so delicious, though. It makes anything good. That's why they were able to give us these products. All right, that's what I'm ending. That was the thing that set it off, my trigger. They were feeding me these recovery, rock recoveries. And I know I picked it. Like they said, you can't have, what was it? Red Bulls anymore. They made your heart, blah, blah, blah. They explained it. It all made sense but you can have this rock recovery. And I knew it went with my head because I'm kind of recovering, you know, I'm, I'm a has-been rock star. So I'm, I'm, I'm always gonna be in a state of recovery. And um, so I think that's what, I, it, what, what sold me. But there's also the thing, it, it wasn't carbonated, like the other ones are carbonated. And all the carbonated drinks, I wanted to start drinking alcohol again because it reminds me, I mean, anything, it reminds me of seltzer water, which is what you drink when you don't want to drink at a bar, like when you're the um, designated driver, that kind of thing. But they'll charge you $7 for 
for a Coke, right? Yeah, they give you that prize to be the designated driver. Yeah, they always say, yeah, we love you guys. Tip me for that $7 Coke, though. Um, but seltzer water, it's right there. It's just out of their thing. It would be really rude of them to charge for that. And it always looks like you're drinking gin on gin tonic or something. You know what I mean? Mm. All right. And you chew on the ice. It's the whole thing. And the ice thing is, is sexual deviance. Yeah, that's what my sister told me. From the family. that They're all nurses, psychologists. Yeah. And they've read. They're well-read. They're well-bred. I'll end it there. So I'm... It, I... I grabbed another recovery once just by accident because I have to have one a day, they say. And I look just to be sure that they're not switching those ingredients. And the rules of the game, of course, is that the first ingredient must be um, valid. Like, it can't be a fructose syrup. It can't be the name of a coloring, right? It can't be any of those things that you some, you see a lot where it's not anything real. Like like in cat food, if, you, if you're not careful, it'll be some weird thing. Or like a, a cornmeal of some, some bone marrow something. I, I mean, what do you, what's in it, right? Well, it's not the important thing. Yeah, the first thing, always look for that first ingredient. If it's valid, like a haagen always think haagen um, it'll be like cream and eggs. But think like in jam, you grab a grand maman, It'll be this really nice jam jar that you can use for other things. We always use it for projects, but you can drink out of it. It's the classic cup, do all thing. Make some oil in there, you know, put some nails. But I mean, you could also keep it in, in the kitchen and have a bunch of glasses now. Or you could just use it for making. It's good for measuring. It's easy to measure. It's easy to make your own vinegar and oil dressing. It's that kind of thing. You can use it for so many things. Beat an egg. Yeah, get that omelet going. D record a scene from Rocky, right? Where he's just sucking that. Oh, we should do that today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to, when we get into the zone where we can videotape another live stream, we are allowed. We're going to be doing the Gobi of the Uff. Gobi, of course, is to go. It's gross, right? It's that thing they spit on you. It's that stuff. It's kind of like that when you suck these eggs out of their shells through a hole that you make or you break them in half and just like a cook. Yeah, we're ending with Bourdain. Like a cook, you, you can, you know, separate the whites from the yolks and you suck them down. They're, they're, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a tradition. And you can do it over there because it's clean products. You don't get sick. Over here, they just put a warning. You could get sick if you don't cook it. Yeah, it's in all the Denny's, all the IHOPs, all the McDonald's, anywhere. Most restaurants now. Yeah, telling you that if you got it poached, you know, eat at your own risk. Instead of like the mad cow, where they should have just been like, come on. Keep the idea, Jack in a Box, that it's a little undercooked. Yeah, it's delicious. They, they, they eat raw meat, steak tartare in France. It's that good. Can we do that with the meat here? If we can't, we're not doing something nice to the animals. Vegans, you can fight it that way. Don't tell it you're not going to eat it, poo-poo it. No, because then the animal died for nothing. And you have to know the Native Americans, they would rather, I'm sure, eat. If it's me, like if it's real me, and some animal was suffering, they would rather eat it to be like at the in and out and go, yeah, I won't eat it with the buns. You know, Atkins diet, I'll eat it just with some lettuce if the lettuce is clean and I don't get hepatitis, cool. And they'll eat this meat and they'll be like, ah, oh, I can tell it's gone through some things. Like maybe it's a whole bunch of different meats. We don't know. <coughs> but if, if, if you can't eat that same thing raw, it's just going to make you sick, then something's wrong. And just because you cook the shit out of it or you add these chemicals doesn't mean it's going to turn right. That's bringing us back to the Smuckers. So if you grab the Smuckers jam in this Grand Mamon jam, if you look at the ingredients, the Grand Mamon jam will be like wild berries it'll show different kinds wild blueberries wild all this different just yum and that's it 
not even sugar, I think. They use like pectin, um, bee pollen pectin. That's wonderful. I put that in, in drinks and blenders. It's good for you. Yeah, I'll tell you about BJ's using that stuff. I learned that from a singer. Yeah, the singers know how to do the best BJ's because they do this kind of circular breathing. Ah, let's not, you'll have to pay me more. I just lost some subscribers. We're trying to get to 169. I did threaten to turn this off, but we must finish the story. The, M, the WTF was feeding me these rock recoveries. And I looked at, oh, Smuckers has all this weird stuff first. It'll go like kind of like some water, berries, but then you see that fructose right away. You will always see something that you will recognize from a kid from up to, until now. It was always in something, in a Twinkie and whatever they say can last forever. And it isn't in these French products. And I'm not going to say that the Smuckers taste bad. I've had many a peanut butter sandwich with that. I use Peter, pa uh, Peter Pan because of the, I believe, uh, Arnett something jelly, right? She was the first heartthrob of the Mickey Mouse Club. And we're going to leave it there with me thinking of Welsh, Welsh, like Welsh's grape soda. That was good back in the day. But there was a Welsh's grape jam. And uh, me being at a, at a Disneyland, underage, and my sister was there too, and she was playing on this Mickey Mouse Club, and I was there hanging out, and I think it was the motel, it may, the hotel, Disneyland, it may have just opened, or it was where, whatever hotel at the time they were having all the Mouseketeers like, live there. And there was a school in the back, and I remember at night I would go while they were doing this filming. We were there for a couple of days. I was in the lobby playing these um, new fangled, yeah, new fangled machines. Like we knew, we knew like whack-a-mole and pinball machines, but these things were like you know Pac-Man, Frogger, ours that we played this Welsh um, actress from this great Welsh I'm just saying it like that so I don't get in any trouble you understand who later had a, a pretty famous show um, but at this time she's totally young she's unyoung and she was the oldest I remember of the crowd of the clan so they weren't all there that's the only one I was able to hang out with and I was there because, yeah, my family was just letting me do whatever. That was nice. That was a good thing they did. Um, let me escape. Uh, so, I, so I'm so i playing this game, and then she comes over, and she's doing this small talk like nobody's playing it. And I said, oh, you want to play it with me? And then she said something like, nobody ever wants to do two-player thing. It was funny. And then we played it like one of us holding the controller and the other. I mean, just stuff that I've always loved to do and... And no one else, they always were like, oh, that's weird. Why are you doing it that way? Like playing pinball, like just playing it half and half. You ever do that with friends? It's awesome. You ever go against teams? Then it gets really badass. Add betting to it and a lot of alcohol. Yeah, and some coke. Oh, come on. Have it be the machine that's the rolling stones. That's right. Hear that thing go when you hit the yeah high score. But not only that, yeah, the lottery on that thing was loose. Back, 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 back. Yeah, now we don't have to pay for the pinball. We will just be paying for the alcohol. We got more money left over. They don't care. Bring us back to Keith Richards. Play like you're Keith Richards. That's what Warren Zevon said. And enjoy every sandwich. He said all that after, you know, he was dying. He laughed. He said he had the flu. He said he had COVID. You remember that? You should see that. That show is on YouTube. You can't find it. So tonight's show or... Who's the guy with the teeth and the glasses? It's not Conan. Conan kind of overdoes. He touches his boobs a lot. His piercings. He does these kind of comical overdubs. Overdone dubs. But he was great back when he was drawing in The Simpsons. With my friend, Scott Albert who's an amazing banjo player. 
and he could kick Steve Martin's ass at the banjo. But not only that, they made, with Conan, I believe, uh, a special cartoon just for Steve Martin and just to get back at him for an incident that happened in 1977 in Montecito in a, uh, across the street from a good Italian restaurant that is still there. I'm not going to mention them until they tell me it's okay. But the one across the street, that pretentious one, the one that you were paying for the oil and the bread in the beginning, hello, that's like an appetizer? No. Everywhere in Italy would give you that. They would make it in any home. You would be doing it for yourself. Steve. But Steve was like set up. Like he's still going to be writing some books. and But he sat up in the middle so we could not get around him. And my friend was a fan. Had everything. Made his own arrow through the head. Made his own chicken in the duck. I forgot what the thing is. Plastic chicken that he burned up. But Steve wasn't having it. He didn't learn yet that the kids had to talk their parents into buying his products and his humor. It wasn't. It, it wasn't the parents who were buying it. So they didn't think he was funny. They thought George Carlin was funny. So it was very hard to, to, to sell this jambon et fromage and like a shoe with cheese on it. it it's hard to sell. But he was selling it. He was selling like losing your lips if you don't do enough meetings about nicotine. I mean, it was the weirdest shit. And then the rest was just filler of him naming producers and things that he hoped would turn him into some sort of actor on the family scene. And then he would be known as father of the bride where Warren Zevon would be like, no way. I'm into these B movies. You should see father of the bride is starring Bela Lugosi and Bela Lugosi would be like, I'm looking, Eddie, I'm looking at the recovery cans. One of them says purified water from this geyser company that you were investigating off of the 395. The one that is the big old passport. Passport, no, you will need your passport to go to what's on the side. It's a huge art piece of a postcard. It's telling you to go somewhere. It says Marseille, France. There's special water there. There's a place close by. There's a fountain to cure what's ailing you. Andy Kaufman went there. Purified water in France, next to Marseille, the French connection, where all the heroin was. Andy Kaufman, next door somewhere. I can't tell you the real name. There's water. We must meet there, people. That is the end of the game. It will end up past the Stanley Hotel in, in Colorado, which we will leave exploding and imploding. Careers and whatnots. We will take that Air France from the Kennedy. Ah, we decided to go from Canada after this viral video. It seems safer. But we want to, we want to see the part of France that we can only come in from that side. Yeah, up there. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe from Banff. Maybe from what one of the subscribers said. Come visit me, right? If that is still open, subscriber from Canada. You know who you are. It's not Scott on tape. Scott on tape lost me since I deleted my Instagram. Yeah. He, he, he said, hit me up on Instagram. And I said, no, my last best friend, I lost him because I'm 10 years sober. And he said, hit me up on Facebook. And I remembered something, this Gila Pap violinist. Google it, the unknown fiddler from Santa Barbara. He told me before leaving town to a royal grandy to become the mayor and the surfing champion of a royal grandy just a little north from Pismo Beach where we will be heading there to do one of our last audits of the WTF experiment is happening here. Star, Stargate, Father, 
because I'm working Mindy, I gotta ask one last thing about the Area 51 before we end this. In front of the Syrian mafia who's been helping the protagonist. Okay. Dad, I know that mm, I understood 48 hours, 24 hours. I understood what was going on there. You were like a photo map. Uh, we can't say that you were a photo technician. De developing photos, making sure you were getting the, the white balance, the color balance, just the lighting. Correct. You would sh show up stalking in CVS's while you saw them walking around the CVS's. You would go to their houses, take pictures, try to compare them with the pictures they were having you take. And you would do these postcards. Here we go. I understood. On the side of that road, on the side of the geyser building, where they're supposedly purifying the water for the special rock recovery for this project. Because this is the very important time. Now, everyone. And we will end. Wake up. Policemen, all of you, all of you playing The Secret Life of Thomas Grant, P.I. and other Courtney Love, Christian Pfaff, Kurt, spelled K-U-R-D-T, Cobain Productions. Listen up. Very important clue happening right now. None of the other clues matter. The protagonist has been drinking this rock recovery somehow. Someone has changed some of the labels. That's bringing us back to Warren Zevon dying, wanting the labels removed or re-glued, he said, onto different cans. What was that about? That's a movie reference to an introduction to a, what is it, One Car Why? One Car Why movies. Um, you must see it. It's called Pineapple Express, Tokyo. It takes place in Tokyo. There's some badass photography. And Tarantino does the intro. There you go. He introduces it because it was banned. Yes, in the United States. And he brought it out by faking it. So it must be Pineapple Express, but it'll be in a different name. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All the clues are there to finish this thinner Bachman production. And of course, the cellist will be repeating this Bach in G, right? That's the only one he's playing. And Warren Zevon says to Steve, here we go, not Steve Martin, but Stephen King. He says, Steve, remember to play like Keith Richards, right? And now we're going to play Werewolves of London. And that Misha Bodnar, of course, was known back in the day to have the first Walkman. Yeah, not the Sony one, the Technodyne. But there were only three or four people who had a Walkman in town back then. They didn't know what you would do with it. They didn't understand it. They didn't know you were doing a soundtrack to your life. But I'd be blasting from this Walkman Technodyne that was strapped like on a belt or something very unfashionable but now with the fanny pack I go well, maybe I don't know I just remember it had two inputs so you could share it with a friend kind of like sharing that pinball machine or was it Phoenix yeah it was Phoenix with Lisa I believe is her first name Welshall and uh, she told me that the Mickey Mouse Club they were strapping her down. Strapping her down like they strapped you down, dude. No, not, not, not Christopher Lloyd in the, or Jack Nicholson in the cuckoo's nest. No way. Is that a Stanley Kubrick? Oh, we're doing everything, are we? Hey, this experiment's kind of pulling itself together. All right. So I got off track about the drink that they'd been actually feeding me fructose and I hadn't been looking and the game players hadn't been looking at the labels of the rock recovery that I kept showing them. I guess I'm in recovery, right? And none of the game players, like when the character died, because of the overdose of sodium. Even though you went, my doctor said sodium, I can only have 500 milligrams. And the game players watched the movie 
to the end as he's saying I can't have the whole bag as his face is just bloating up and then he says I'm gonna go get that risotto or did he say he was gonna get this soup that has 4,000 milligrams hold on is that what the character did in this car last night oh well good thing we didn't finish it but wait they didn't finish it and they put in that plum sauce that has a that brings it down and that other stuff's in there it's sucking it out and there's those jalapenos that's really good for blood pressure bringing it down I know it's surprising and you sweat stuff out no they just left it for somebody they were doing the human effort they were doing the human element they said someone in the next person is going to want to taste this goodness oh my god you guys are so good I'm glad you're there mom and pop organizations in Santa Barbara are locals only fringe beef that was an article. I remember being in that article of knowing the person who would write it or I would give them information, like TMZ. That was a news press and review. So we're talking 80, maybe 84, yes. 84, when Eddie Van Halen came out with that album, 1984, where he had to play a lot of synthesizers just to get all these other musicians and maybe even Diamond Dave off his back so he can make that music, which is pretty cool, pretty, pretty rocking. And also, new sounds and the way he played the synthesizer, it's just so fun that even the dude from Kiss couldn't ruin it and go, dude, but what about the guitars? Where are they in... He was just smiling. He says, you don't, I don't play the guitar anymore. That's just noodling now. But I also play the cello. Do you know that? And it's bringing us back, right, game players? Now you've seen the important facts. There's something medical. There's something clinical. There's also the price of the cello uh, that is in the hands of Jeremy now. And the hosier. Hosier. Yeah, what, whoever towed it, they're all in trouble. It's going to be a lot of money, that guitar, right? Van Halen's guitar, Eddie Van Halen, calls his son Wolfgang. Calls him Mozart. He's trying to learn for his, for his son this piece on the cello. Yeah, Mozart in G? Ah, turns out Bach in G the one I'm going to be playing you. He was trying to learn it. It frustrated him. He, the teachers weren't teaching him the right thing. What was he going to learn? It wasn't coming out. He wanted to do what he was doing on the guitar. He can. It's just nobody was helping him find it. So he broke it several times. Glued it back together, broke it again. Yeah, now we're talking about the Kings. Now we're talking about the Who. Now we're talking about hearing that Jimi Hendrix... He might have been prote uh, protesting the who once. I don't know how nice that is to do at a summer solstice or a festival, but what the hell. All right, we're ending with they've been feeding me fructose. The first thing was fructose in the recoveries. We have to always make sure that it's this purified water. I don't know. Where's that water coming from? It's right there, direction. Area 51, the Mojave Desert, right? That interlock in between there. There's some sort of thing happening on whatever that land is. It belongs to the Indians. Let's give it back. All right, I got triggered now by saw some Australian nomads that are being kicked off their land. Some Aborigines. No, they're underground in some sewer system here. You know that. They're afraid to go, that's what we gotta do. It's Las Vegas. It's the Stephen King thing. It's the Rob Lowe. Here's the, com we found the connections. Rob Lowe, who does meetings in Santa Barbara, was a mentally handicapped character in a soap opera that was taken from Stephen King's The Stand, which is about a pandemic, which is happening right now. 
and the good and the evil, the ones who survive, have to have a showdown to figure out what side is going to live on this earth. And they wind up in Las Vegas, where the sign of the good people, their organization is Aunt Jemima. Mm. I have not met a friend or had an experience with that bottle, the original, that looked like her. All those commercials where she would start talking and giggling. I didn't feel any harm. And I believe in the stand that was his reference. He says she reminded him of the Aunt Jemima woman. Or when they came into someone's dreams, he'd be thinking of pancakes and waking up as a kid and it was safe. It was before the pandemic. And what did he see on the table next to that Minute Maid orange juice and Wheaties box that had a male on it, I guess, who won the Olympics. But it was Caitlin, right? Where I mistook, I'm so sorry, a them and the they who was definitely gonna be living in France with the ghost of Anthony Bourdain. Do you really think he died? Please go to the Lord Crydens conspiracy theory channel to know the truth about so many things. Kurt Cobain's death, let us tell you, he's still alive. Don't be hurt anymore. Christian Pfaff too. Somewhere in Scotland or maybe did you see his picture there? Maybe it's Glenn Phillips in Santa Barbara. Are you understanding? We're impersonators here. You'll find Ofra. You'll find nobody. Christopher Lloyd walking on the beach of Padaro Lane then going to a meeting with Rob Lowe? Yeah, what did you think when I meant meeting? You thought triple A, double A? No, maybe they're talking about nobody or talking about a producer that they knew of nobody and they want to do somebody. Maybe they need somebody at the triple A. Maybe they just needed that human effort. Maybe they need a pencil to write something down on a paper, got paper? The guy at the Allstate, when I called, told him I was choking on this recovery thing, I was about to pass out. He said, it sounds like an emergency. He didn't care about the tweaker cops, tweaker truck drivers, tweak out Moro Bay citizens, the tour tourist attraction building, like everyone, they were running at me like children of the corn and I want to bring it down to my daughter per day Lord Criden K-R-E-I-D-E-N it is my real name all of you get it look TMZ get my birth certificate 1964 San Mateo you'll see it's me why did I get in Santa Barbara during the oil spill to look at Shell I'm the only First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara. Dudes. TMZ. Listen to my cello playing. I play with that guy. Gilles, I got it on a videotape. It's on public access. Gilles Le Pap, the unknown fiddler from Santa Barbara. And Misha Bodnar, the unknown First Amendment auditor cellist who plays Sepultra, standing up in Santa Barbara. I can say that. The dude from Apolliptica went to Ventura in a campground, just started playing. The three other guys weren't there from Finland. And it brings me back. That's why we're ending it. WTF experiment. I'm not going to take either one of those drugs anymore. You pull the fast one, like the cigarette, Marlboro, number 27s, number 74s. I don't care. Southern cut. They all took off the thing that says lung cancer, kitties. Tongue cancer, cheek cancer. Do like in France. Do like what they saw in American Interdeed. Show them. Put it on the pack of cigarettes. I love to throw that down at the table in front of Steve Martin in the 70s when he had no time for some kids and he was abusive. He knows now he's got to be nice to kids. You better. Disney will take you down. Viacom will take you down. John Taffer, the scientist, will come right like he's going to do for everyone now. COVID style. He's going to wash your thoughts. 
Yeah. He's going to tell you to go in through the outdoor several times. Greet yourself. Get on this plane of destruction that says U.S. governmental and its ideas. Take that trip. Yeah, as it explodes into the Bermuda Triangle and we just leave you to be like, yeah, I was probably the pilot. He just wanted to end it. You know, it, it wasn't as fun as the simulator he had at home preparing for the crashes, but we didn't want to plug into the computer to see what was on the black box. What? Like that Ford? Like Perry Ford did to me? And my 2018 Mechmatic. They wrote Mechmatic instead of Metallic. No. If all these details and all these surveys that I took, and you tell me I, I have to do the census or you're going to throw me in jail. Hello. I didn't do it this time with all the homeless. We're staying safe. We don't want to be on your list. You're going to give us the Johnson & Johnson. We got blood clots. Yeah, true story, not me. To Dave the Uber homeless slave. So I know who Uber sucked during the COVID. I know being a homeless person sucks right now here. With no benches, it's bringing me back. Put that bench back in my domain, Delavina. The shopping center no shopping what do we decide festival outlet across from the grocery outlet they must give back the bows they were swiss bows yeah think of that sign swiss army we're neutral green party are you getting it all yeah get your rush card all right, not Rush Limbo. See, we had to put him out in that Siri land. That is digital death. And they don't even give him a good microphone or try to fix his sound. All right, we're going to end this positive. I'm not going to be drinking that stuff since you've been shifting the colors. And all you say on the packs of cigarette is, oh, it contains mono... Where did it? Monocarbonate? Mono... Mononoxide. Mono... What have you been telling? It's bad. Mono... The, the trees are giving us back the oxygen. We're giving them this mono, mono lake. This, it's, that's the trigger word. <coughs> all these people are connected. They all live here. There's impersonators of them here. There's impersonators at Las Vegas. There's a tunnel that goes directly to Slab City. That's where the water is coming from. We will follow the nomads. We will get them purified water instead of this geyser stuff that is super cheap and you've been drinking it. Hello, Crystal Geyser. On the side of the 395, purifying, purifying, oh man, giving me a speech impediment. All of those cans had that weird metal. They'd been heated and then cold and then heated and cold. And we don't know what it is. It's the metal. It's magmatic. It's it's the metal around my neck. It's the metal they found in the oil. Thick with metal particles. It's the metal that my best friend, they found he was choking on. It's the metal found in the DNA of Louis C.K. in those plastic plants. Well, hello, Charles. American Spy Fox, we're going to leave you far away because we're going to do some journalistic thinking here. we got to do a different research. All right. So, I'm going to stop it here and, and I'm going to find that check. Dudes, if we don't find the check, I will know that the conspiracy theory is true. All right? That's, that is the fact. Because it's not here. You're bringing me the anger. I know I did the doctor's bidding. He said I was saying all the right things. Nobody. Electrical magnetical flux capacitors inside Jacob's ladders. Yes, things, capacitors, they still have power, old televisions. All those things I broke inside the house, like it was the wall, and I was 
putting it back for Pink Floyd. No, for Roger Waters. Wow, that's some deep shit. No, why was he talking about Maggie? Political, governmental, metal, tape. Kurt Cobain's metal tape. Fecal matter. Cassette. Maxell. TDK. Memorex. It's Memorex. Ella Fitzgerald singing. Her, her, the note's too high or it's too loud or it's like one of my roommates. It's an incredible force of feet of nature. nature. It's coming through their nasal cavities. Something breaks. The glass breaks. It shatters. Like, like the windows did in the motel where I was freezing. And it started to write, help me! Like it was an Xbox game of Silent Hill. Oh, hello. And I'm drowning in the WTF card. This is the dream where the airplane parts are flying out of the sky. And I'm afraid that my ex is going to make a business transaction mistake with her artwork, which was jewelry which was the stone that I got from the ghost town of Bodhi. It is now set from a dead Native American Indian, half Greek, half Italian, depending on the actor who was in the commercial that had that 70s car drive by, but they were throwing out a bag that was mentioned in a Steve Martin set from Jack in a Box, which he said he enjoyed the bag. He hopes he's like all the good vegans and ecologists. He said this in 1977, people, it's on a record. He, he said, you're gonna be on this record. Uh, he said, I like to fill up the bag with a whole bunch of trash and then I throw it out the window on the freeway in front of this Indian who's crying. Oh my God. And then he thanks the audience for the second side of the album going, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then that group, the one that's not even real, they're a cartoon, but it's the guy from Blur. And the guy from Blur does a thing about the homeless. He sang about it, but he also sang about song number two, which was song number two on their album of Blur. And on the front, you see a pandemic incident and they're walking. No, they're running these men in white, not men in black. And they're redoing Fatter by Misha Bodnar, not thinner. And he's dying. His daughter died. And he's trying to get his daughter, Xanthi, which means shield in Greek. She takes the hit like this fusion for it is backing up, not caring. You're gonna, I'm gonna take the hit. She took the hit for me. Oh, this guy looks cool though. He looks like the dude from, he could be in any band. He's got the casquette, but he's got the red racing shirt with the nudie lady on it. He's got the Jordash. Yeah, we know those jeans, but they're fake. And then he's got the hush puppy. So perfect. We're doing, we're ending in the seventies. I think we made all the connections. It ended with not being connected. Mm. I'm eating just the right amount of this perfect soup. It's taking away all the elements of the other WTF experimental products. We're gonna find that check, we're gonna cash that check, and then we're gonna keep the money and try to not spend it today at least, and try to make good decisions in a live stream with the help of everyone, all right? So I'm saying that, at, it says 2013 on the imaginary clock in this Ford. I mean, imaginary. None of the gauges are working since the accident. It says on this Verizon that is still allowing a service, but AT and T has decided they don't like the things we've been saying. So 
We don't get any service from them, so we will not be able to do, sorry, Scott on tape, um, the Hollywood side. Yeah, that's all done, that project. Key grips, go home. Oh, we're getting up to, that's when we're going to walk in. We will be walking into that store to cash that check. Well, we must find it now then. I must turn you off to find the check that we lost somehow from just sitting here eating a soup. 17 hours. So that means 13, 14, 15, 16. It's 5 o'clock. The DMV is closed, so there's no hope. There's one more hour, though. We could make it to the AA. A, and uh, they will set us up. Supposedly, they will even do the DMV thing. So that's what we're hoping. That's our goal. If we're going to be spending money, it will not be on Allstate. It will not be on Verizon. It will not be on at and It will not be at McDonald's. It will not. It'll be maybe here. Maybe at the Stop and Shop. I'll buy something to show my appreciation. I'm not going to buy anything at Chase or Montecito Bank and Trust. No. I'm not going to get the gas at Shell, right? We're gonna, we found, finally, a Chevron. We're going to try once again to put more expensive gas, but let it be the high octane, like they said. Right now, it still hasn't looked better for gas mileage, but maybe it's all about needs to be cleared out of all that old gas, the bad gas, the cheap gas, the 87 octane, which is fine in low octane level. We are at sea level. We will be going up, though, to that mono lake or mono lake to figure out what the COVID is and how I voted twice to make sure that this country for you and me is staying Donald, Donald Duck free. And so they were strapping down this Lisa Welshel, her boobs. Yeah, cause they couldn't keep her on the show, but they wanted to cause she was the most talented. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you, we had a really nice night. I had got my, that's my first puppy love. Oh man, did I cry when I got home. And I just had all these like souvenirs from the Disney, you know, maintenance facilities. And it was a little clock with McDonald's. Yeah, a McDonald's thing. Mickey was eating the McDonald's, um, the something, the, the oh, Egg McMuffin. It's bringing us back to herb to Urban Herb. Yeah, and La Colina Junior High School. Oh. And here's how we ended. It's so perfect. Um, because of this incident. Anyways, I tried to explain this when I went back to school at La Colina, where I'd been. Stories of being one hour ahead inside this Disney before it opened. And this Walt Disney place, they allowed me, just myself, there was no one else there. The others had to practice. Yeah, I knew that one. Um, or go to school, supposedly. But they told me there was no school. They just smoked. Um, they would steal my cigarettes to prove it. Yeah, yeah those, those, some of those years, yeah, they shouldn't have kept them locked up or strapped down. Uh, anyways, I, I, I believe this is another thing, but I'd have to look it up. I think on the 70s show, um, the student, the foreign, Fez, the foreign exchange student, I think he was in that particular year. So, he might have met me, I might have met him. I bet neither one of us remembers or cares. Nobody cares, nobody. With Christopher Lloyd, okay. Um, so what was the last thing? Oh, the ending. So I got home, I cried. I tried to tell, even I had a friend in a band called The Tan, and they had gone on the gong show. So he kind of knew, yeah, what it's like to leave somewhere and they give you turtle wax as a gift, right? When you're not even old enough to, you know, you give it to your dad, that's... But anyways, getting back to another group. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the all the old famous groups and the blues groups. One of them who stole the heart of the team, the Darius and Mio team. No, the, the Darwin team, the Darwin project in the OJ attack on OJ Simpson. You know that Marsha, Marsha Brady, Marsha uh, something. I don't know. But she hung out between times, right, to relax down in Santa Barbara. And we would see her on the local news 
they would show her just enjoying this bass player and just enjoying the dolphins here. We had finally cleaned up by that time all that tar. And they walked down the street after hearing that blues thing. And they were like, what's that? Is that nobody knows? And they were, no, that's Toad the Wet Sprocket. But nobody knows opened. That's why there's all that broken shallow bits everywhere. Yeah, there's something about broken shallow bits that we know. We know the godfather of punk cello. Right, Iggy? All right, we ended it. It wasn't how I was supposed to end it. It was supposed to end with it ending. Oh, I got home. I don't want to get over it. Yeah, so I had this puppy love. I was trying to explain it. Some people, they're like, nah, uh, that didn't happen. And then others were like, yeah, yeah, that's a bitch. But what can we do? And so I think I did some sort of audition where they were like, you can, they're, no, they, an audition is something where they said, when we have an opening, you could try out. Yeah. So they were just trying not for me to cry. But I always had that thing like, well, maybe there'll be an opening and then I'll go meet up with her. It was that kind of thing. And then, you know, you grow up and you learn, well, no. And then you learn, I don't even think I'll get along with this character. You know, when it's the end of their career and it's like one of those last, like they knew that the sitcom was going down. And they do this thing, like Taxi went down, where they're all just doing song and dance. And you got Christopher Lloyd, once again, just sitting at the table, going, I'm not going to be dancing with you guys. You're not going to get me to... I'll sit at the table and watch you do that. You saw that Kaufman is just pretending to be a different person. He's singing Vola Re in the parking lot, right? Eating haagen It's just cream, people, and eggs. Sorry, vegans. But at least the eggs are coming from a spot. I don't think they're all caged up the same way. And Yeah, I know in France there is a certain... It's, it's religious for them. All the foods, all the wines. Water and bread. Yeah, not even wine and bread. Water and bread. And if our water is what, what happened in Slap City, where... Yeah. You can almost blame the COVID on that, because... Once you get people sick like that, it doesn't matter what you get. It can be the flu. And that's what we were getting back to. We did an exorcism of some people got of Bourdain. Some people got, they got disturbed by that. They said, uh, uh, and we're going to just tell you, yeah, uh-huh, we're doing it. We're doing it good. We're licking our lips. We're drinking the stuff they don't want us to. But we're not drinking the stuff they want us to. That's it. Recovery. That's right. I'm not drinking your recovery rock stars ever again. I saw it. I don't know what that metal is, but it's on the stock, stock market right now, that metal. Yeah, it just appeared. And it's inside the vaccinations. Ah, Maybe the person like Bourdain had like, did you check the bloodstream to see if there was too much shell oil or some sort of metal product that you find in Taco Bell on the wall written in the paint that says we have products here. We're not sure if it's the cleaning products or in the chips, but they do cause fetal damage, they cause cancer. Why doesn't it say that on the Marlboro pack that I'm eating right now? 